Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Reality Touch a Truck for Springfield Township. I'm Captain Murphy with Springfield Township. Today we're going to look at Quint 79 and explain a few things about it. And I think they'll take some pretty cool video later on about how the truck operates, so on and so forth. So what is a Quint company? It's really two trucks in one. It's a pumper truck and a ladder truck all in one. Serves five functions, carries hose, carries a water tank, carries ground ladders, has an aerial ladder, and it can serve multiple functions with rescue tools and so on and so forth. So we can do a tour around the truck today to see some of the equipment that it does carry and the multi-functions that it can do. So it's very versatile. All right, along with uh, the Quint company, we carry hoses, attack line hoses to put out the fire. There are multiple different styles that are on here and different nozzles to spray the water in the application that we need to utilize in order to effectively attack the fire. This is our pump panel area. It looks pretty confusing and very busy. A lot of gauges. So this is for all the different discharges that are on the fire truck. In the event we don't need the cross lay, we can actually connect to one of these discharges and get water out of the truck. Whether we're using the onboard tank, which this truck carries 400 gallons of water, or we connect into a fire hydrant with another supply hose, which we'll show you here when we get around to the back of the apparatus. All right, in our first compartment here on Quint 79, we carry a bunch of adapters. It also allows us to connect into a fire hydrant so we can get water to the truck if we've used all of the water in our 400 gallon tank. The truck also carries a generator so we can create our own lighting or electricity on scene to provide for fans and lighting and other needs that we need. We bring our own electric with us as well. Other compartments for the engineer and other specialty equipment, we carry sawzalls, high rise kits. These are things for firefighting operations that basically utilize to do some special rescues or making connections into different fire department connection in buildings for suppression. And then we move on to here. Our fire extinguishers, we do carry those on every apparatus. Uh, we have a water can, a dry chem, and a CO. They are all specific for certain types of fires. So we always don't know what type of fire we're going to, but we bring the equipment that allows us to suppress it. We also carry EMS equipment, additional hose. This is for high rise evolutions or setbacks, what we call where houses sit back off the street far away in case one of the cross lay attack lines don't reach. And we have other lighting and uh, tarping to preserve property inside the house as well. And we'll jump onto the, this compartment is uh, basically some additional hand tools that firefighters carry. Tools needed to either force entry into a house if, if doors are locked or make openings in roofs by using the big hydraulic ladder if we need to. And we have saws, but these are other additional hand tools that the firefighter may be carrying to access different points within the building. Here at the rear of the apparatus on Quint 79, we carry a bunch of ground ladders as well. In the event the hydraulic ladder is blocked by trees or wires, we can also pull ground ladders. And there's a number of different lengths of ladders from 15 feet all the way up to 35 feet. So these are pretty heavy. It takes a couple of firefighters to go ahead and pull, draw, and throw these ladders in the event we have to do either a rescue or access a high point somewhere in and around an incident. Located here is some of our supply hose. We talked about how the truck gets water, and this is the hose that we will utilize. We either use five inch, which is this guy, or we use two and a half, depending on what we need to drop down onto the ground and lay from the hydrant. So those little yellow fire hydrants, this is the hose that we connect to those. On the, this side, this is the officer side of the truck. Uh, we do carry extra air cylinders on the apparatus for the firefighters, they're spare ones. And when we get into the cab, we'll show you what we're talking about. But the breathing air that we breathe as firefighters when we have the bad air, the smoke, and carry extra one of these too. And there's four on this side and four on the other side. As we move forward too, we got more tools that we're looking at here, fans and saws. Depending on if we have to encounter any storm damage, we may have to cut up trees and assist our uh, public works department if needed. We have fans as well that run off of our electric generator to eject some of the smoke that's in the house to allow us to remove that hazard from the house as well. There's multiple fans. This one really will push a lot of good air into the building where this one's a little slower paced. We do carry a chainsaw. Looks like what's maybe in your garage or maybe your grandpa had one. Or a rotary saw with a universal blade on it that can cut any material from concrete, metal, rubber, wood. So it's kind of universal and allows us to gain access to different components that we encounter in the fire scene. 
All right, along on the officer side of the truck, we also have a connection for the fire hydrant and also some more discharges from the pump as well. And in the hose lines, like we saw on the driver's side of the apparatus, is the lines can, these attack lines can be pulled from either side of the truck, depending on how we pull up to the house. All right, we're gonna get ready to jump into the cab of the truck and look at all the equipment that we carry in here. So, all right, as we're in the back cab of the Quint 79 here, it uh, has four jump seats in it. There's uh, hand tools here for each firefighter radios, flashlights, and then their breathing apparatus, just like we talked about on the rescue truck, the, like a scuba diver, we dive in smoke instead of water. So every firefighter gets one of these, they wear each one on each run to release it. We pull this handle and the firefighter can don this or put it on their back like a backpack and then they walk away and it comes out onto their back. Here's the bottle we showed you the spare bottles before. So we carry one extra bottle for the bottle that's in the breathing apparatus that each firefighter wears. We also have radios headset systems so that the communication's clear between the officer on the truck and they get updated information as they are heading towards an emergency or any orders that are gonna be given over the radio for tactics that we're gonna do on the scene once we arrive on the fire scene. All right, what we're looking at right now is where the engine is, what actually makes this truck go. Instead of being pulled by horses like they used to be years ago, the motor is underneath that gray cover, and that's what makes the truck go when we start it up. All right, up here in the driver's seat, driver has a lot of responsibility for all the firefighters that ride on the apparatus. That They can also operate the pump from uh, up here as far as engaging it, and then they have to get out of the truck. So they have to get us there safely, all the firefighters included, and then they also run the truck pump the water, and also run the aerial ladder. So they've got a very, very important job by getting us there and then knowing what all these buttons do. I know there's a lot here, but a lot of them are emergency lights, activating our generator for electricity, putting the truck into pump so we can pump water, and also the hydraulics for the aerial ladder that make the ladder operate as well. So this is their spot. They're usually called a fire apparatus operator or an FAO. All right, on this side of the truck is where the officer of the apparatus rides. They're actually kind of the boss. They're also gaining communication from the computer, from the dispatch center about the incident that we're going to, and pretty much coordinates the operations that all the firefighters and the driver, FAO, that ride on the apparatus to coordinate a good attack and plan of action once we get to the incident. This uh, thermal imaging camera, just similar to what we carry on the rescue truck, sees through the smoke and also gives us temperature signatures within a burning building or the human body. It's pretty tough to see with the sun out today, but as we look at our little TV screen here, it'll give us back what's called a thermal image of different colors or different temperature signatures that people see as we climb through the smoke. But it'll see right through the smoke. It's great technology. It comes from the military. The only thing that it can't see through is glass. Uniquely enough, it won't look through a window. We can use it at night, we can use it in the day, it can be a smoke-filled room, and it's a great piece of equipment to assist the firefighter with looking for victims or fire itself.